Hi guys, it's Emil. Um, I very much have a cold, so I apologize if I'm not very structured <laughs> in this video, but this week's topic is internet friends. And so I, as many other people, grew up hearing that, you know, you should be careful on the internet, um, you don't know who you're talking to, um, there may be some people who try to take advantage of you and stuff like that, um, because when I started to go online when I was maybe 11, um, like by myself on social internet sites, um, the internet was still kind of new in a way, at least in, in like the social media way. Um, and uh, then Facebook came and like, um, yeah, smartphones and Instagram and everything like that. And obviously, I mean, YouTube started to become more of a thing. Uh, YouTube's different, though, because you usually actually see the people. But, you know, yeah, uh, social media has grown a lot. Like, the way we use the internet has grown a lot since since I started using it. And I have made a lot of online friends. Oh, yeah, but what I wanted to say was that, like, um, my parents weren't, like, super strict. Um but they did tell me and they knew that I was like a reliable child. Um, <laughs> um, so I, I have always, I've never, um, I think that you still have to be cautious in a way because if you don't see people's faces, you really don't know who you're talking to. But usually when you've been talking to somebody for quite a while and you're like planning on meeting and stuff mm -hmm. like that, you usually like at least Skype them or FaceTime them on Facebook and you see that it's actually a real person. Obviously, you still can't know for sure what their intentions are and stuff. You should still be careful. Um, but um, it's it's different. And in a way, it's more complicated than it was when I was younger. But yeah, um, anyway, whatever. I don't know why I said, like, you all already know that. I don't know why I felt the need to say that. But I've made a lot of online friends, um, some of which I have just drifted away from because some people leave the sites that you're on, um, your interests start to differ and you just grow, you just grow away from each other and that's natural. But some people I, you know, still am friends with, even though we may not talk a lot, we still have that mutual understanding that we're friends. Um, I kind of look gross, by the way, but who gives a shit? Um, yeah, but I've made a lot of Effie, do you want attention? Can you hear her? Okay, now she's quiet. Whatever. Um, I've made some great friends online. I, I mean, I literally met my partner on Tumblr, so... <laughs> um, you can definitely meet a lot of cool people online, and I think that the best thing about it is that you can, like, seek out people, and you can um, get to know something about them pretty quickly because most people like have some sort of description and you can see what content they have posted and so you can sort of get to know them before you get to know them um which i think is is cool because then you can um you can see a person and you can see that you have similar interests and maybe like the same kind of humor and you can message them and then maybe you'll become friends or maybe not you know there's no way of knowing but maybe so I like internet friends. They are awesome. The only thing is that sometimes they live really far away and you don't have the money to go see them, which sucks. Um, but yeah, I think internet friends are... Somebody just knocked over all of these books from this shelf. This is a speaker, by the way. It's not just a random skull. <sighs> okay, I guess that's a sign that I should stop this video because somebody wants to play. Um, so, yeah, have a nice week. <laughs> I hope you're feeling better than I am. I'll see you next time. Uh, love you. Bye.